Hi all. In this video, let's learn about CSS modules in React.js. So before learning this, we need to understand a problem. So how this CSS modules is going to solve that problem, we'll see with an example. So firstly, I have taken a project. So this project is built on top of a Create React app. So with the help of Create React app, we have built this project, fine. So what I have in this? So app is a main component. It is a container in that I have loaded two components. One is login button and one is registration button. So these buttons are imported here. So let's go and check what we have in that button component. So I'm going to the log, login button component. Here you have just a button component and a class is added. Okay. And this class button color you are getting from this login button.css. In short, I have a component called login button and its own CSS file. And listen, I'm giving blue color to this login button. In the similar way, I'm going to the registration button. So this is also same uh, another component with just a button in it and giving the same class name. Okay, I'm giving the same class name, but this class name will come from the register button.css. So also it has its own button, I mean class. So this color, it is red. So for login button, the color of the button is blue. The text for the color is blue and the registration button text color is red. So this is what I have defined and both the components I have imported and I'm using here. So now let's see what happens. So now we can understand the problem of this CSS model. See everything, uh, both I got into red. Fine, so let me show you. So here, if you see the login component and the registration component, both are having the same class name, button color, button color. Both the components have the same class names. So if you see the styles applied below, so here, so see blue color is overridden. It is striked off. It means this color is overridden and red color is applied. This is because th the main reason for this is by default, CSS class names, by default, the CSS class names are scoped globally. That's the reason you got as this CSS class names are same and the names are conflicted. The one is overridden and the other one is got applied to the login button as well. Fine. The registration button CSS is applied. This color is applied to both the things because these class names, okay, these CSS class names are globally scoped. That's a that's the first reason. As these class names are globally scoped and both have the same names, names name conflict. The one is overridden by the other one. So this is a main problem we have. Okay, how the CSS modules is going to solve this problem? So let's see. I will come back to the project. So how it is a CSS module problem, uh, it is going to solve the problem is just name your CSS file like this. I'm right clicking and I'm naming this as dot module. Instead of dot CSS, I will name this as dot module dot CSS. Okay, I will do this and the same for the registration button as well. Dot module dot CSS, fine. So I have modified the CSS file extensions to Instead of dot CSS, I made it as dot module dot CSS. Fine. Now I need to import in the same way, right? I need to import that like dot module dot CSS. And uh, for the registration button also, I need I will be going here and I need to get that dot module dot CSS. Fine. But how I, I need to import it is instead of like this, I will import it like this. Import styles from this module. I'm taking styles from this module, this is how you need to import your styles. And while using the styles like class name, you can use like styles dot button color. So this is how you, you're going to use, okay? In the same way, I will be doing the same for the registration button as well. Here I will import all the styles defined in that file, okay? In this module, you may have a number of styles. I'm importing them with the help of this style. All those styles will be available here now. And I am applying those styles here. Styles dot and the button name. So this is what the CSS module means. So what this CSS module does uh, is it will create CSS class scope locally. It will not make the CSS class globally. It will make the class names locally. That's, the, that's how it is going to avoid the naming conflicts. In this case, see, if you, you have given for the registration, you have given red and for the login button, you have given blue. So now if you go back and see, yes, it was applied. 
the color is applied. Now you can check the class names for the login button. If you see the class name for the login button, it is completely different. Okay. This is what CSS module means. If you observe the class name, the login button, the file name of the CSS underscore and class name of the CSS underscore underscore and a unique hash key. So this is what it is dynamically generated. So in this way, CSS modules is going to make the class names locally scoped so that this would be unique one to avoid the class names conflict. That's the reason. See, now registration has its own name, registration button. It, it means the CSS file name. You can see how the name was constructed means the file name registration button, for example, and underscore the class name underscore underscore a unique hexa. So with these names, the CSS, CSS module compiler will convert like this. Of course, you have given the class name as a button color, but who made this? CSS module compiler has made and they have given a unique ID here like this. So that's the reason in this way you can resolve the naming conflicts so that whatever the color you are trying to apply, you can apply to that. There won't be all the CSS class names will be scoped locally. Only this component, even the names are same also. Here the earlier the problem is you have used the same class name, same CSS class name as CSS class names are globally scoped. This class name was overridden by this. That is the problem. Whereas CSS model, what it made, it made the class names locally scoped so that this is uniquely defined. The class name was uniquely defined. Who did this? We have given the button color who made this uniquely and um, to have the button uh, class name underscore uh, class name underscore like you know, component name underscore class name underscore underscore unique hash code who has given this css module compiler has given this i will tell i will talk more about that in a while so before that this css module so as we have created the project by using create react app this CSS module will be uh, will be coming automatically. You no need to do any configuration for that. But if you are building your React app project in a other way, then you need to give these configurations in the Webpack. Okay, in the Webpack configuration under the rules, you need to give this sort of sort of configuration. So then only you can apply this CSS modules in your React project. You're getting. You need to say the modules as true and how you you want to make sure the local uh, how the class name should be given so this is how you are going to name okay this rule should be given in the webpack configuration if you are using a react boilerplate apart from create react app fine so now let's understand how this uh, css module compiler is converting the normal class names into locally scoped uh, class names like this how it is going to convert it let's see that with a Picture. So let me explain you here. So once you in the CSS module, so if you give a regular CSS file, okay, what it does is, so for example, Mav is a normal class name and you have a color orange to that. This is a normal CSS. What the CSS module, module compiler will do is, it will convert this like this. Cat is a class name, underscore Mav is a, uh, I mean, uh, the CSS name, the class name, okay cat is the file name underscore mav is the class name underscore it will give a unique hash key here like this so this is what the css module compiler is going to be in between it takes our css file as you have given the dot module dot css extension it means you are giving that module dot css file to the css module compiler and it will convert our css so this is the file this is a class name you have given but the css module compiler will convert that like this Okay, okay. Now, how the browser is going to apply the correct colors, how it is going to apply. So it knows what is meant by Mav and it will apply like this, but you have converted that like this, right? How the browser can understand this is the older one and this is a, and this is the one you have given the original name of the class. And as a CSS module compiler will convert that like this, but how the browser is going to know which styles should be applied. So for that, not only we have one more JavaScript file. So there is a JavaScript object. This is a, this will be maintaining a map where see we have seen this control. So 
we have a CSS file. The CSS module compiler will convert that like this. So we have seen this. And apart from that, parallelly, there is a one more JavaScript object which will map. The original name is map, and it will be mapping to the recently created. So it was modified like this. So to this name, it will be mapped. The key will be map, and which color should be applied to this? It will be mapped like this. Okay, it means the original name is class name is this, and it was modified like this. So there is internally a JavaScript object map would be maintained like this, with all the original names and modified CSS module uh, names. With the help of this, it can easily identify the browser can easily identify which colors should be applied to the particular component. Like this, CSS module is trying to make the CSS class names locally scoped. With this. You can avoid the class names conflict, so that you can easily predict what color you can get, what you use that will be getting, with the help of this CSS modules. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.